Today we're headed to do some bone fishing across the island on the other side with the world renowned bone fisherman Prescott Smith and he is really well known and so is his father. They've grown up here and they fish, they've been bone fishing their whole life so I'm super excited to get out there and walk the flats and actually catch some bone fish today. So thank you all thanks to Spencer for setting this up and we're headed down there now in the Jeep. Very important, you gotta get the bug spray. <laughs> so important. <laughs> looks pretty good for bone fishing. We're waiting for the <laughs> for the guide to get here. Uh, it looks nice and calm, gorgeous. Hi. Hi. Darcy. Darcy? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Brian. Hi. Nice to meet you. You can hear, you can hear the line mm -hmm. going through the guy here. Yep. So, if you notice here from the first guide mm -hmm. to where I'm holding the line, I never allow slack to get into it. That's why I use the analogy of a bungee cord. Okay. where this is constantly under tension, so you can feel this. Mm. That's very good, Darcy. Beautiful. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. So you said you're fly better. fishing already. Yes. I'm talking about big time here. So a lot of times, you know, anglers think, well, oh, it's going to take me 100 years. No. Right. You need to, you, you recognize it's a sport about having fun, mm -hmm. it's not a competition. Right. And you don't get up just thinking, well, if I'm not making this perfect cast, I'm not going to try. You just get out there and try it all and you find that you're learning the language of what happens when you do one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. So let's go catch some fish. I gotta learn how to strip. <laughs> No teeth. No. So no it's teeth. safe for you to hold them fish. Okay. Yeah. I also heard you can't hold them by the gills because they die. That's the most vulnerable area on them. Really? That's where the blood is all centered around there. Okay. So you hold them on the belly. Yeah, underneath like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wet your hands. Yeah. See that fish right there? See him? Cast for him. Oh, yeah, I see him. Longer strip. Up. Long strip set. Up. Strip set. There we go. Nice! That was quick. Not a real big one, but a good start. Yeah. <laughs> Not too shabby, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's the strongest fish pound for pound. 
I might. <laughs> there you go, Pete. That didn't take long. That's a nice long. fish. That's a big, that's a big fish to me. <laughs> Not done. Not quite ready. Picture with him. Thanks for the ride. Oh, uh, we'll get more. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I want a bigger one. <laughs> I want a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We'll get another one. Pete just caught his first bonefish of the day, and literally, like, the first two minutes that we got to the spot. Incredible. <laughs> scared of fish with my loud voice. I don't see them right now. Let me pull around slowly. Go into the cast. Put a little energy into it. to the right of him. Lay it down. Now drop it. Put it out again. Okay. More right. Right. More right. Oh, more right. Like right here? Lay it down. Down. Another five feet. Same direction. Down. 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 A little further out. Okay. One cap. Up. Down. Just missed my first bonefish. <laughs> Just missed my first bonefish, and it was pretty close. He kind of took a swipe at my little fly. I'm gonna get him again. <laughs> Has moved us to a different location where it's not so windy the windy the wind has been picking up all day so we're in an area that's a little more secluded and protected from the wind so hopefully I can get my first bonefish I've been trying uh, really hard so hopefully it's gonna happen at this spot but it's a really gorgeous area there's actual like waters and waterways and canals and creeks that are all natural made and there, you can see here there's like clay walls it's really awesome that deep channels are just cut through Tons of fish in here. Really cool. What are like the short like bushes right here? Are those like the mangroves growing up? Too? Yeah, those are all red mangroves. That's the most common one. You have, that's your main nursery system. Over millions of years of limestone sediment. It's all coral limestone. All them bridges and the highways you have in Florida, yeah. that's the roads, this is the calcium carbonate. The home that you live in, the concrete floor, if you have that cement blocks. One more time, stop, strip, strip. Long strip, long strip, longer. He's got it. Oh. Try him again. He's on it still, he's on it still. Oh. Okay. Drop Baby stuff. 
step. That's me. in the leg, but it's okay. She said two bites. She's gonna be good in a minute. <laughs> yeah, fishy, fishy. No, guy said to me, Ron, he's a Prescott. I can't sing either, but I don't brag about it. <laughs> forest fires? Yes. Well, you can smell it coming from the east coast, the pine forest. Uh, this is a typical time of the year when you have the forest fires, the last month, because once the rain starts in May, as you know, living in Florida, you have your rain, afternoon showers. Well, I learned a lot from him, but he, he taught me, I was consider him one of the most important lessons is always keep learning. You can learn from everyone. I saw a lemon shark chasing a blue crab today. That's a new one for me. Go into the cast for me now. Go See ahead. that leaf floating? Yeah. I'm going to go to the racetrack. Down. For the right. Five feet to the right, you can do it. One. Again. Just a minute. Did you see the fish yes. down? Yes, I just saw them. Take your time. Don't put any pressure on yourself. Point your rod. Yes. Moving. Yep. Just relax yourself for me. Okay. Okay. Remember you. Okay. Roll, your, roll the cast out now for me. You can do it. In Pick it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go for it. One. Again. Another five feet out. Yep. You can do it. Perfect. Your fit. One more time. Slightly right. One. Let it sink. Draw tip right down. Pick one. it up and shoot it out. One cast, up and down. Right on them. Beautiful. One more time. Again. Up. Strip. Long strip down. He's eating it. Strip. Strip. There we go. Let him run. Beautiful job. Let there him go. Run. Let him run. Pete, you uh, got to help rat. him. The yep. line is jammed around it. Go ahead. Now when he stops running, real. Okay. I see now he's coming back this way. Okay. He's pulling again. Let him go. He's let pulling. Him go, let him go. Let him go. Okay, real. All right. Just feel him. Work him back. Sweet. I like this little fry real. Right, Captain. <laughs> I believed you the whole time. Whoa, he's not done. Wow. He's getting tired. He's getting there, but he did it all by himself. Powerful. Yes, he did. That was awesome. Put the cast on there. 
My first fish on fly. <laughs> Just caught my first bone fish on the fly rod and I actually casted it to him and stripped the line and did everything properly and was able to bring him to the boat and he jumped off the hook thanks to Pete. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I still that, that, I think that's warranted at the I officially caught the hook fish and he was right here and he put up a great fight, it really fought me and took a couple great runs and I really like the fly rod. It was a lot of work today and uh it finally made it happen. All, thank, all thanks to Captain Prescott. <laughs> Let's do that again, uh, Dorothy. You can strip on some line. Okay. <laughs> Back to work. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have any sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. No, I, I was just happy to be able to share uh, such a special place with you guys. Yes, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you taking us out. And I had a ball catching my first bonefish. Thank you very much. And, and the thing is, Darcy, you, you caught your first bonefish on the largest flats in the world, the Great Bahama Bank. Right. And um, you, know, you just want to make sure it's protected so that generations unborn can enjoy it the way we enjoyed it today. Definitely. I really had fun fishing with you guys. It was fun. Thank you a lot. We'll definitely be back to catch some more bonefish. Okay. Definitely. Looking forward we'll to count it. Count on that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So we had a great day on the water. It was an awesome day. You just have to be here to actually experience it for yourself. It's just truly incredible. And uh, I can't be any more luckier to go ahead and do this and have the opportunity to, f to fish with Prescott. So we're wrapping it up. And until the next episode, keep on catching. Okay, that's... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs>